Hello. Today we are going to talk about sex before marriage. What does the Bible say about sex before marriage? The Bible clearly condemns sexual sins such as fornication, bestiality, homosexuality, etc. <laughs> for example, let me define for you what is adultery. Adultery is the consensual sex between a married person and someone other than his or her spouse. And remember, in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 32 says, He who commits adultery lacks sense. He who does it destroys himself. And actually, it is also reflected back in, in 1 Corinthians 6, 18, which says, Free from sexual immorality, every other sin a person commits outside I, every other sin a person commits is outside his body, but the sexual immoral person, person sins against his own body. And in addition, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4, it says, Let marriage be honored among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and the adulterers. Well, sex before marriage, or premarital sex, is not addressed in details in the Bible, but it falls within the scope of sexual immorality. So the Bible teaches us that sex before marriage is immoral. And in a couple of passages that we are going to share today, we shall see that it is really not acceptable. Based on the passages that we have read, for example, Hebrew 13 verse 4, which says marriage should be honored by all and that the marriage bed should be kept pure. For God will judge the adulterers and all the sexual immoral. Here, we have both adultery and fornication differentiated with what happens in the marriage bed. Now, marriage, uh, I'm talking about sexual intercourse within marriage, is honorable. All other types of sexual activities are condemned as immoral and brings God judgment. But sex within marriage is precious, is acceptable, and is put there specifically as a gift of God for the marriages to enjoy. Now, based on all this, the biblical definition of sexual immorality would have to include sex before marriage. And that means that all the Bible verses that condemn sexual immorality in general have been put there to really emphasize that, hey, sex should only be done when you are in a recognized marriage. Otherwise, the other verses in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 13, which says, Food is meant for the stomach, and the stomach is for food, and God will destroy both one uh, both, both one and the other. The body is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord. And the Lord <laughs> is for the body. It means when you're there spoiling your body with your sexual acts, you're spoiling the body of God. You're spoiling the temple of the Lord. You know, in First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3, and also in Jude chapter 1, verse 7, and actually also in Revelations chapter 21, verse 11, it boldly says that, But as for cowards, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexual immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Members, you want to escape from that? Don't engage yourself in sex before marriage. I want to tell you that God designed sex and the Bible honors marriage. Part of honoring marriage in the Bible is, is, is promotion of complete abstinence before marriage. When two unmarried people engage in sexual intercourse, they are defying God's good gift of sex. And I want to also tell you that sex within marriage is pleasant. And God designed it that way. God wants men and women to enjoy sexual activities with, uh, the conf within the confines of marriage. You know, in Songs of Solomon, chapter 4, and several other Bible verses, uh, such as Proverbs 5, 19, describes the pleasure of sex. However, God intends that sex, that sex should be for producing children. And I know many people of you do this act when you do not intend to produce children. So, check yourselves. And thus, 
when you engage in sexual activities you are doubly doing wrong and you're just doing it for enjoyment and pressure and you do not intend to produce children you are taking a chance of creating a human life while you are outside marriage outside the marriage structure and that really annoys God and God's intent for every child praise the Lord